coming up next, that developing story we've been following over the last five hours, uh, that withdrawal of the incumbent member of parliament for the Wale Wale constituency, the home constituency of the flag bearer of the MPP, Hajia Zueratu Lariba, from the Wale Wale MPP primary. Finality to the troubles of the party in the constituency? That's the question we're asking tonight. And well, we got this information just some four hours ago. The Wale Wale member of parliament, Lariba Zuera, has withdrawn from the race to be the party's candidate for the December polls after a chaotic rerun which ended inconclusive. And the Member of Parliament has been explaining the decision to withdraw from the race. And you recall yesterday the Electoral Commission took a decision to annul that election because of the violence that we saw. But this is the Member of Parliament speaking to her supporters. Take a look. Following the inconclusive of yesterday's promise or rerun. Now the EC was not able to declare a winner. So based on that, based on that, I've decided that I want to step down and will not go contest the seat again. I am doing this for the sake of the greater New Patriotic Party and Walwale constituency. <coughs> I'm doing this for the sake of unity, peace, love for the constituency. Well, so she, before this, this video, which we got uh, uh, some few hours ago, she had issued a statement explaining, in fact, announcing the decision to withdraw. We got portions of that statement earlier issued by Haja Ladabazura, and she says, quote, I have decided that in the interest of the greater good, of the new patriotic party and peace and unity in the Wale Wale constituency, I will no longer be a candidate for the MP in the 2024 elections. And it goes on to, to say, uh, again, in that concluding part of the statement, it says, I am therefore formally withdrawing from the contest. I'd like to thank the party for the honor done me in representing the constituency over the last four years and can assure the party of her continued support in the 2024 election campaign. That's how that statement she issued, uh, even before the video you just saw ended. She's talking about the continuous support for the party in that constituency going into election 2024. But how will this statement trickle down to her supporters as well, especially because of what has been happening in that constituency right from January 27, when the first primary was held up until yesterday, September 9. So some who hold the view that there's so much that has happened within this period, a lot has happened and, and, and that has deepened the cracks within the MPP in that constituency. We wait to see how the party maps out a strategy of closing its ranks, mending those broken issues, and then also the heads that people have on both sides. And Dr. Kabiru Chiamahama, We've not heard from him as yet. He's looking at how things are playing out quite closely. But even before Haja Zuera issued the statement and that decision to uh, withdraw, the party had already addressed the press earlier today, indicating that they were going to have an emergency meeting tomorrow. National Executive Committee will meet to take a decision on what to do going forward in that Wale Wale constituency, bearing in mind that by Friday, they have to file a candidate. That's the deadline that the Electoral Commission has given. Take a look at the General Secretary of the Party, Justin Vimpong Kodia. Secretary of the Party. I want to assure you, the media and good people of Ghana, that the new patriotic party will take a firm decision tomorrow at our next meeting. I also want to use this opportunity to commend the Ghana Police Service for their swift intervention in ensuring law and order at Wale Wale. With the clock ticking, the MPP's ability. So that's what the party has decided now. Uh, but, but tomorrow they will take a decision on, on what the next step will be for the party going into this uh, Wale Wale constituency and matters arising because of the deadline given by the Electoral Commission by Friday. They have to name a candidate. And certainly that's going to be a short period for them to even think about a rerun and, and then also all that ha has to happen. So we'll see. We're keeping a close eye on that next meeting 
by the MPP tomorrow. In the wake of what's happened right now, that incumbent member of parliament, Hajja Zwira, to in fact, she's one of two persons who contested in this disputed election um, yesterday and, and, and sometime in January, the 27th of January as well. And she's been described as the sister to the vice president, the flag bearer of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya. That's his home constituency. Dr. Kabir Utia Mahama is uh, an officer in the uh, vice president's office, an economic advisor to the vice president for that matter. Now, we will see what the position of the party will be going forward. Dr. Uh, ben Suglo Alidu Bukhari is a political science lecturer at the University for Development Studies, UDS. He knows this constituency like the back of his palm. Let's have a conversation on this, and I'll show you why the MPP may have other bigger issues to deal with, especially with the NDC candidate in that constituency. Stay with me shortly. Dr. Uh, Alido, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Good evening, and uh, good evening to your listeners, and thank you for having me this evening. I mean, uh, let's first establish this. How far reaching will this decision by Haji Azura to be in mending the cracks within the party some 88 days to election day, December 7th, in this Wale Wale constituency, that constituency of the Vice President. Okay, thank you very much <clears throat> once again. I think uh, this is a welcome news for the party in the constituency, but to me, uh, it came a little too late. However, it depends on how the party will organize themselves quickly and then mobilize the support base, particularly the youth. Going forward. I see. Now, if you say it, it came too late, what would yeah. the implication of this this be, especially because of the time period between now and an election day, or the between now and Friday, for that matter? Why will she wait till now? She decided that she would run from the race. Of course, she had the concern, and she felt she was cheated, and the issue was sent to high court. And the decision was made that, okay, go back and then see the delegates. So at the last minute, she's withdrawing. Fine. But the question then is, withdrawing this, uh, from the race in itself is not the solution. How will the party leadership in the constituency can safely mobilize the support base and amend the differences? My you, any candidate has political clout than Kabiru, I'm not saying. But the people have the incumbent power. Anything can happen. But I found the NDC candidate is more of is at an advantage than the NPP. As it stands now. So at the point of the, the party probably has will have to I, I think it's as a conditional withdrawal. It is not from well, I, I don't think it's coming from it's a conditional withdrawal, that's how I see. But of course, it's ready to use that and bring the support base of her of of Hajia team. Otherwise, I don't think uh, they will go. To, they will still go to this election with divided front. It's a little too late because yes, it is it, the election, an issue that has dragged over years, spanning almost four five months, and so lingering. Then only last minute for you to withdraw. I think it's a serious case. I think the party will have to prevail in the constituency, particularly the vice president, who is also candidate on the ticket of NPP to use his power and they ask quickly bring the people around him and then convince them to for a forward march. Of course, voting is not about numbers. You cannot go to the election with divided front. So like I said earlier, NPP in consistent in Walwale should be fronting the campaign nationally. But if the the candidate is in then it's a true case. But of course the matter has come to an end today. So let's see how the things will unfold. I mean, I'm mean, going forward from tomorrow onwards. Indeed. And, and quick one before you go. To, uh, to the extent that now we have Dr. Kabiru Tia Mahama, who is the only person left in this, would, would yeah. it be from the political scientist perspective prudent for the party yeah. to just go with him or bring in a neutral candidate to contest? That was my, yeah, that was my position. So, neutral uh, candidate. We are taking an unfair position. And I'm so impressed the vice president tried to convince any one of them to withdraw back to the resistance. But it's okay, well, this is democracy. Go and test your, you know, your popularity. But at the very last minute, 
the incumbent has withdrawn. That is where the problem is. So I call it a conditional withdrawal. But now, like I said earlier, the NDP candidate has a political cloud over Kabiri. Kabiri, sorry, but the Kabiri. Of course, he's in power. Maybe he can use the, his power to, to quickly galvanize, I mean, the people to rally behind them and then forget about the past. The common cause is that let's win and then and win and win for the MPP. Otherwise, if that language is not resonating with the people, I'm sorry, NDC may still have an, still have an edge of a Kadiru as it stands now. Well, we'll see how things play out. Thank you, Dr. Ben Solo Alido Bukhari, a political science lecturer at the University for Development Studies, UDS, has been studying the dynamics of the Wale Wale constituency. He knows the constituency quite, quite closely. But that point about whether the party will take a decision to present Dr. Kabiru Tiamahama as the party's candidate or consider a neutral person because of the entrenched positions that both Dr. Kabiru Mahama supporters and also Ajazuera to supporters took, which indeed we saw the extent of cracks within the party that degenerated into some skirmishes. And let's put it on the screen right now. Those skirmishes that we saw um, yesterday during the voting process that led to the Ghana Police Service having to come in to take the ballot boxes and some ballot boxes were, were uh, reportedly snatched. Some persons who interrupted the process of the sorting as well um, in that, that consequence, the Walla Walla consequence, this gentleman was arrested by the Ghana Police Service uh, there and, and those who, if the situation got, got a bit worrying. Now, that is the extent of the, the cracks that we're talking about. And this is what has been happening in the NPP, specifically the uh, Wale Wale by-election. That's, that, that's the rerun of the primaries, the rerun of the primaries in that constituency uh, yesterday. Now, if a decision is going to be taken to have Dr. Kabiru Mahama go, we make reference to what happened on the 27th of, of January this year. Dr. Kabir won that disputed primary by some 345 of the valid vote cast, right? But then again, this was what the court took a decision on and quashed this result. So this result does not hold. But to the extent that this statement by Haji Azuera to Lariba, the incumbent MP, she said was in the interest of the unity of the party in that constituency, how will that trickle down to her supporters as well? How are they going to receive this? What's the strategy of the party? We'll wait to hear what, what happens next. Is it an that's a neutral candidate or somebody who has not been contesting either than Dr. Kabiru or Hajia be the right choice for the party in the vice president, the flag bearers constituency? Those are the issues at play. And guess what? This is not a constituency that the NPP can go to bed and say, regardless of all of these troubles, we can win this constituency. The history does not support that position by the party. They have quite some work to do. If you look at this, at least for the parliamentary, the NDC has won this constituency before a number of times, as a matter of fact. Won it in 2004, won it in 2008. The PNC has won this constituency before in the year 2000. And that leads me into the year 2012. In fact, if you look at 2004 and 2008, the NPP candidate who won this constituency was one person who has roots in the PNC as well. And the PNC candidate who won the year 2000, this Wale Wale constituency, was one that eventually joined the NPP in the year 2008, after Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya was named as the running mate to Nana Dudankwe Kofuado. So the PNC has some strong roots in there. The NDC candidate, Alhaji Abdallah Abukari, for the 2024 election, has had stings with this constituency since 2008. In fact, the first time he contested this constituency, the Wale Wale constituency, he was a PNC candidate in that constituency, and I'm going to show you that in a bit. This is it. This is what we do know about this man. The NDC candidate for that constituency, Abdallah Abukari, contested Wale Wale constituency in the 2008 and 2012 elections on the ticket of the PNC. 
He crossed carpet to join the NDC in February 2013. He says after extensive consultation with his supporters, eventually was appointed a Northern Regional Minister in February 2016. He served in that capacity for some nine, ten months before elections. He contested that election on the ticket of the NDC in 2016. Then he was elected again as the parliamentary candidate for the NDC in the 2020 elections. He contested as the NDC candidate in the Walewale Constituency in the 2020 elections. He is the same person the NDC is going into this 2024 election with. So from 2008 all the way to this moment, Abdallah Abubakar, the NDC candidate, is one person who knows this constituency very well. And that's another headache the NPP would have to deal with. If you look at the election trends, for him, in the year 2008, when he contested this constituency as a PNC candidate, he got some of, over 7,000 votes. That increased in the year 2012 with a little over 10,000 votes, still with, on the PNC ticket. Now, guess what? In 2016, when he switched carpet to the NDC, his votes increased by 23,851. In 2020, Al-Hajj Abdallah Abubakar inched up to over 30,000 of the valid vote cast in the Wale Wale constituency. That's the man that the NDC is going into the fight in this constituency, the home constituency of the vice president, the Wale Wale constituency with. And there was just about 2,000 difference between him and Haji Azuera in the 2020 election. So he knows his stuff. We'll see how things play out uh, for the MPP going forward in the coming days. This is your election, Command Center.